Hey look, it's the holidays! It's been a while since I've made a video, so yeah. Um, sorry about that. Today, however, I have a special, special video for you. So, Nintendo. Sweet, sweet Nintendo. You surprise us. Sometimes, without even trying. Well, you know a year or two back when they released the Nintendo 2DS and people were really surprised and kind of curious as to why Nintendo even released a product called the 2DS in the first place? Well, I like it. I like the 2DS a lot. In fact, I like the 2DS a lot better than the 3DS, and I'll explain why. But first, Nintendo released a dual set of consoles recently, the 2DS, well, it's already been out, but they released two different colors, clear red and clear blue. Now, when I found this at my local Target, my mind got blown. I was amazed that this thing even existed. I didn't know that, you know, Nintendo wanted to go back to clear consoles anymore. I thought after, you know, the Game Boy Advance, that was it. I thought that they weren't going to do that anymore. I was actually kind of saddened by that, that I didn't see any clear consoles after the advance. Um, really did like them. You know, I like being a technology person, someone who is almost, well, okay, I'm overtly obsessed with technology. But being as such, I like to be able to look inside of a console and see what its inner workings are. I like to be able to look at it when I'm not playing games on it. Well, my brother had bought this for me as a Christmas gift. I know it's not Christmas yet. It's not Christmas, I'm sorry. But however, I couldn't wait. I couldn't wait, oh my god. This thing is so amazing, so worth the money, for me at least. That, that'll be up to you in a minute when we kind of give it a small review. But oh my god. This thing is spectacular. I guess for now, enough squabble or not squabbling, um, enough talk about Nintendo and all that. Let's get to the system. Alright, so here's the box for the thing. We have the Nintendo 2DS. This thing is amazing. Now, as is known with the 2DS, it plays games all in 2D because, uh, as its name implies, it doesn't do the 3D that the 3DS does. It has the ability to play 3DS games and Nintendo DS games. They still haven't included the GBA slot, which I kind of expect out of them, because, well, let's face it, they're never going to use GBA cartridges again. But, let's look at the other sides of the box. So we have our lovely little seal from Nintendo. We have the color of the console, which as you may be able to see, is crystal red. A little 2DS logo at the top. Now we have the back of the box, which is just the basic info about the console, uh, the best of two worlds, the Nintendo DS system, blah blah blah, I don't care. Um, all the things it can do are similar to the 3DS, exact, well, actually the same. You know, there's no differences between the 2DS and 3DS. Besides the fact that there is one screen, one screen, I know it looks like two, and I'll go over this with you when I'm actually pulling the console out of the box. I have opened this, and I've played the ever-loving crap out of it, so far, and currently I have been playing Pokemon oh, Alpha Sapphire, I was trying to remember the name for there for a second. Um, anyways, it's just all the basic info, you know, don't stick it in your bum, basic stuff like that. Wi-Fi certified, wow. Wi-Fi certified. Say that five times fast. Um, now I guess we're gonna go ahead and open the box from the tab over here. And we're gonna take everything out of the box. So I've obviously unboxed this before. Ah, my camera lens. Okay, so first of all, we get our paperwork, all the Club Nintendo stuff. We already know all that. The AR cards, you know, get with every 3DS and 2DS. Because, in fact, there are the 3D cameras on the 2DS. It just doesn't show on 3D on the screen. 
Now, I have taken the charger out of the box. It's in my wall in my room. We already know what the charger for the 3DS looks like. We know what it does. It's not really a big surprise. So, with no further ado... So, we have the console itself inside this really... Well, it's a bag. That's all I can really say about it. It's, it's a bag. So, we take the console out. I just cleaned it before this video. So... Look at that. Go through it slowly so you can see it in all different lights. Now, the front isn't as impressive as I thought it would be, and there is one major flaw of the front of the console that I'll let you guys know about in a second that is more of a... Uh, it's more of a visual flaw than anything. It just doesn't look quite right. But now we go to the back of the console, and we see that we have a battery the two cameras, some of the uh, ribbon cables, and some other things of that nature. And we go down to the bottom, and we have the SDHC card slot, 4 gigabytes. That's actually really cool of Nintendo to switch it up to a 4 gigabyte card, because in the 3DS, I know I got a 2 gigabyte card. I don't know, because mine was a uh, secondhand 3DS or what. But they really stepped it up, and I like that. So, the stylus is very reminiscent of the original DS and DS Lite stylus. Or no, just the DS Lite. The 3DS stylus is a little more reminiscent of the original DS stylus. So, put that back in there so we don't lose it. Um, actually, fun fact, I bought a pack of 8 Wii U styluses, and they almost fit inside the slot. They fit fine until you get to the little end right here. The little end is a little bit too long on the Wii U version. So now I have like six of them because I gave a couple of them away. Anyways, we have our... It looks like the antennas in that casing there. The only reason I think it's the antennas is because in the DS Lite, the uh, antenna module looked the same-ish. But yeah, you can see all the innards. You know, you can see, I don't really care about the serial number because I don't plan on getting rid of this soon. I don't plan on insuring it because, well, A, it's a 2DS, and B, meh, too lazy. So we go to the side of the console now where we have our volume control, the L button, the R button, the charger port, game slot, which, if you must know, has Pokemon Alpha Sapphire in it. Love that game. Honestly, I'll probably do a review of this game shortly, but I'm doing a review of this now, so let's not waste any more time. Clean off the screen, got a little bit of junk on it. Okay, so now we get to the front of the console again. Main thing are, or main thing is, I need to correct my grammar sometimes. Um, the buttons? don't know if you can hear that, but they're a lot less clicky than the 3DS. Which, to me, oh my gosh, it's, it's a good experience, it really is, because of the fact that, well, while they're not as clicky, you still know you're pressing them, because they're like the Game Boy Pocket, Game Boy Advance, and SP buttons, where they're not, they're, they're really soft touch, and I like that. Um, then we get to the joypad, which is literally the same as the 3DS. There's no differences at all. The D-pad's the same. Um, the only... Well, one of the main differences in the 3DS and the 2DS is with the switch right here. Now, what that switch does is that's sleep. You click... You slide that to the side, to the right of the console, and it puts it to sleep anytime during any gameplay, anything. If the console is on and you don't want to be using it, you can go ahead and slide the switch, and it'll just put itself to sleep. Now, without further ado, I'm going to talk about a couple of things about the aesthetics and the screen. So, the screen, as I've seen here, is just one panel. It is a single screen split by software. Now, that's a pretty pretty good feat. You know, there I think there were some phones that did that back in the day, but I'm not quite sure. Um, 
the only difference between these two screens is the bezel right here. You can see there's a little bit of a gap there as to up there, there isn't. But the only reason for that is that bezel pretty much hides the rest of the screen. It's not transparent at all. It's actually pretty, pretty dark. But the only difference is the uh, touchscreen overlay. It still has a has to be a um, resistive touchscreen because well, Nintendo wants to keep it cheap for consumers. Um, the ribbon cable starts right there, and it goes all the way up around the touchscreen portion of the giant screen. You can see the reflection of the camera. Hello, camera. Um, the one thing, one thing, that really bothers me about this system more than anything else, and it's really not even a design flaw, it's just an aesthetic choice that I really kind of wish that they could have taken more into consideration when they were developing this. So you see the speaker right there, the little speaker, above the uh, analog stick here? Well, it's perfectly centered with the analog stick and the control panel, or the D-pad, rather. Well, actually, it's a little bit off to the right, but they wanted to have the speaker grill for the thing in line with those two. And it just, it bothers me that it's not in the center. Granted, it doesn't affect the gameplay or the sound at all. It's just, it looks kind of off, and I don't, eh, 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 eh. So without further ado, let's turn this thing on and go through its main features. I mean, almost don't have to do this bit because, well, you guys know what a 3DS does. The 2DS does the same thing. A little blue light here. Uh, the wireless light will come on in a minute. There we go. There's the wireless light. The 2DS turns on. And I have ins inserted in the slot Pokemon Sapphire. And it's... It does say 3DS camera because of the fact that, again, we have the two cameras back here. And we have the one camera up front. But, if my camera will zoom in, thank you. We have the 3DS sound. It, basically, it's just running the 3DS firmware on a much smaller console. Now, the feel of the system, honestly, I love it. I honestly can't even fathom how I even played the 3DS when I started playing this. I actually lent out my 3DS to a good friend of mine, and because of the fact that I didn't really like the feel of it. Now, I've already gotten a couple of comments from friends saying, oh, your decision is based on like a hipster belief, blah blah blah, but let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. This system, to me at least, feels so much better in the hands. And it's a system that I can actually... So I have a weird thought about portable game systems. Since I grew up with the Game Boy Pocket, Game Boy Advance SP, and the DS Lite, I've come to kind of... I don't know how to explain it. My general feeling towards portable consoles is if it feels too heavy, and if it feels like it's too much money to be investing in one handheld portable system, it almost doesn't feel like it's worth being played to me. And it's not like, oh, it's too good, oh, yeah. It's more of a, oh my god, if I drop this once, it's going to shatter into a million little pieces. But with this, I mean, the plastic feels a little bit cheaper. I mean, it's probably a little bit stronger quality because it's a little cheaper. But it feels more like something you could take around with you, and if it drops, you wouldn't be as worried about it. Of course, you're going to be worried if you drop anything with a screen, because, let's face it, anything with a screen is going to break if you drop it enough. But the fact is, is I don't feel as obligated to keep it in a bag or in a case all day, every day, and not ever play it. I feel like this is something I can actually take with me and use on a daily basis. And... If that's not the point of a portable console, well, then maybe I'm just stupid. Um, you know, there's not really much else to say. Um, let me go away from Me Maker. Eh. Health and safety information, if my camera will zoom in. There we go. Health and safety information is the first tab here. 
I'm gonna go back to Alpha Sapphire because I'm gonna play that in a minute when I'm done with this review. Um, I'm sorry I haven't been uploading lately. I just really didn't know what I was gonna do for uploads. Um, I'm kind of over the whole vlogging thing because let's face it, it's not very exciting. You know, my life isn't exciting enough to really generally summarize. I do one thing pretty much, and then that's pretty much it. So I think I'm going to go back to my roots, as I've said, probably in another video. I don't remember since I've done... I've recorded... Okay, here's some truth. I've recorded probably about eight or nine videos to put up to YouTube. But the thing is, I didn't upload any of them. And there is a reason for that. Let me actually get this... No, let me keep it there. Screw it. Um, here's the reason. I wasn't happy with what I was making. You know, my videos weren't how I wanted them to be. I was doing something I didn't want to do in my videos. You know, I thought that it'd be a lot of fun to try the whole vlogging thing to summarize my life and, you know, talk to you guys. I thought it'd be a lot of fun. However, eh, it's just not fun anymore. It wasn't fun in the beginning. I mean, it was a little bit of fun when I first started it, but it just felt like more of a chore. So we're going to change everything back up to the way it used to be. And this channel will be probably two things. Number one, uh, device repair videos. I will start trying to do those again as I get more devices to repair. Um, I've actually got an iPod Classic 7th Gen that I'm going to repair for you guys in probably next... I think beginning of 2015, mid-January, I'll release a video on that when I actually have the parts and the time to fix that iPod. Um, the second channel upload kind of thing, genre, I guess I'll call it, will be tech reviews. I gotta be honest with you guys, technology is something that I know pretty well, and I shouldn't stray away from it. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I might add a third segment to this whole channel, which will probably, if I get anything done, will probably be some music that I'm working on. Um, the music I'm working on isn't great. It's not the best thing ever. I'm not going to be a Kanye West about it, say, Oh, I'm the best rapper alive, blah, 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 blah. But it would be nice if you guys checked it out. Um, I will probably put a link to my SoundCloud down below in the uh, description of the video. Um, feel free to check it out. No harm done if you don't. I don't really care. I'm just doing it for the heck of it. Um, I guess at that note, channel's going to be receiving updates a lot more um, as I round up more tech around the holiday season. I'm guessing I'm probably going to get some. Either the holiday deals are going to get me or I'll be gifted them. Either way, we will be seeing more videos from my channel and honestly, I'm sorry for not uploading. Um, that was dumb. I shouldn't have done that. Uh, sorry. Now, with that out of the way, I will be uploading more, I promise. So, for now, I guess it's blah bye um, I'll see you guys probably in a couple of weeks when I do the iPod repair. Until then, um, I'll try to give you an update video between that. I can't promise anything. But until then, I guess I will see you guys later. Okay, bye.